<laughs> ah, fresh bake, we're at it again. Yesterday we were at Universal Studios in Hollywood and today we're in Buena Park, California, just down the street from Anaheim and Disneyland. Today we're gonna visit Knott's Berry Farm for the same reasons, <laughs> for the same reasons as we went to Universal because I can't go to Disneyland. And uh, Knott's has said, you're welcome here. Thank you very much, come on in. Uh, I don't know what to expect today. I don't know what we're doing yet today. Let's go to Knott's Berry Farm, guys. Happy holidays, guys. Well, now take this opportunity to ride the Knott's Berry Farm train, the Denver and Rio Grande Western. I haven't been on this train since Tristan was knee high to a grasshopper. I need to get on this train right now. I wonder if they still do the train robbery thing. They did that last time I was here. Guys robbed the train. That's a little fun. <laughs> I love trains. I love trains. Why don't I come to Knott's Berry Farm more often? That's so good. That is so good. I got. I asked for. I asked to get robbed. We got robbed. That was great. That was a wonderful trip around the train. Hey, how are you guys? Hi. Uh, I'm gonna do next on our list of things to do is something that is a must for people coming to Knott's Berry Farm, especially if you don't come often. You've got to go to the Fireman's Brigade and get some barbecue. I'm looking at uh, a quarter chicken myself and the, uh, the, the, the pork rib. It's kind of legendary, but you got to get there at the right time because that line can grow quickly and it's already getting into the afternoon. So we better get in that queue and get us some food. And that is the quarter chicken and pork ribs with some corn on the cob. I 
I, I was going to do a full on camera review of it. I mean, I, I couldn't because there was a live band there, and I was really trying to enjoy that. Actually, and you probably wouldn't have been able to hear me anyway. But I can attest. I can confirm. It was exactly as good as I thought it was going to be. The, 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 the ribs were great. The chicken was even better. I have. It's been a minute since I've had, you know, some barbecue chicken as good as that I just had at the Fireman's Brigade, in my opinion, at least. I know there are people who are connoisseurs of chicken. I am not, but it was great for me. Really, really enjoyed that. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, while we're in Ghost Town, let's let's take a quick tour around, see what's going on here. They've still got their, uh, you know, a lot of their Christmas uh, booths up around around Ghost Town, or whatever they call this main street. I mean, we could also stop at Ghost Town Grub and get a maple fun bun or a Prancer's pumpkin cheese roll. What? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, look at this. This is so great. Old vintage train here. The old Betsy. The Borax Mine Special. Got your locksmith here who is always in here making something for somebody. I don't know. I think they do do custom, yeah, they do uh, like horseshoes and custom horseshoes. A dinner bell you can buy for $20. Key rings? My goodness, that's legit. You can actually have this guy make you one of those things. I mean, yeah. So he's using what that I just saw there. That's probably a uh, like a stamp. You know, it's like a letter or whatever, and they just stamp it onto the metal, and or maybe it's a design of some kind. I've eaten here at the Ghost Town Grill just once. It was the first time that I discovered that sarsaparilla was spelled with an R. <laughs> That surprised me quite a bit when I first saw it. Like, what the hell? Are we supposed to say sarsaparilla? Oh, they've got some uh, bell ringers. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, guys. They uh, they moved over here from, from Disneyland. They stopped doing these shows at Disneyland. Happy holidays, guys. Uh, they used to do those at DCA, and they were great. But then they fired them. <laughs> so there's no more. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's go in the livery stable and see a horse. I just, we're gonna just do all kinds of, I don't think we may not even leave Ghost Town. Although we have, there is some business that I gotta get to, but I think we're gonna try and stay in here. This is the reason why you come to Knott's Berry Farm right here, is just to be in Ghost Town and do all these attractions. Looks like they're doing uh, butt scratches for this horse here. I don't know his name. What's his name? Dave. His name is Dave? Oh, that's awesome. That's my name. Oh, that's really cool. Hi, Dave. Dave and Dave. Dave and Dave. What a beautiful horse. Do you guys want to scratch his butt? <laughs> Everybody's just going up there. He's just presenting his butt for everybody to scratch. Dave the horse. Got another horse here, although he is not. It looks like he's eating. He's got a little feeder right there. And uh, we're doing a little floor maintenance while he's eating. It's just wonderful. It's wonderful that they give you the opportunity to do this. This is not very fun. This is why you, you know what I say when I go to Disneyland, there are certain moments you are like, I'm at Disneyland. This is not very far. Like, I wonder how authentic, how legitimate these coaches are here. They look like it, right? They look, I mean, that's why they're presented in this way, behind a fence like this. There's no signage or history up here though, so you can't really say for sure, but they sure do look legit. Up here, across the street from the Fireman's Brigade, is where you can get your guns and knives. <laughs> for real, uh, I'm not gonna go in there, but yeah, they have actual guns and knives in there. There we go, the knife shop. Well, slap me and call me Susan, but is that the Birdcage Theater actually doing performances? The Gift of the Magi? I have been coming here occasionally for years and I have never seen this place open, but this looks like there's a queue and there are show times. One's coming up at 2.15. I don't think I'm gonna see the show, but that's great. Dude, I love seeing things coming back together because it's been a while since I've been here. You know, we're talking like when people were still wearing masks and stuff and things were, a lot of things were still closed, like the stagecoach. And, uh, the, the, that's awesome. The Birdcage Theater is open, you guys.
Then there's the Calico Saloon, which they, I know they used to do a show in there. I don't know if that's still running. Are there show times here? This is where you can get a Merry Mimosa for $16. <laughs> or a Boxing Day Bourbon Mule. An Ice Winter Breeze Cocktail. There's a lot of uh, mixed drinks and beer uh, here at the Calico Saloon. We, I think we have to. It's required whenever you see doors like this that you go through them and push. Now we got our balcony up here. Hi. Did we have visits from Santa in the balcony? Mom from his inside bed, right? And apparently, oh my gosh, yes. Hey, let's go up these stairs real quick. No tables, but let's just take a peek. do that full show and get us get a proper drink go get a seat up there and watch that full show but guys i am blowing my own mind right now you know we just did universal yesterday they got a lot of things coming up universal Whoa! is about to blow up knots is already here knots is awake okay knots is awake there's so much show that i can do at knots berry farm there's so many things to discover so much food so much you know shopping that we can do here they have events all the time there's the Snoopy thing, and there's the Boysenberry Festival, the Halloween, Christmas. I'm really excited about this. I'm excited about the future of Knott's Berry Farm and Fresh Baked Bean here. And I hope you guys are ready for that because we are spreading our wings. 2023 is going to be the year of Fresh Baked. Here's the tell you what but <laughs> the Butterfield stagecoach is one of the coolest things that you could do at Knott's Berry Farm it's something that I I haven't had a chance to do a lot because it's you know it wasn't open initially um, when you know when the parks first open that is so I uh, the only problem is is that as a single I couldn't ride on the top the uh, minimum three people have to be sitting on the top and they don't they won't pair you up as like a single rider with another twosome or something like that they don't put groups together so you, you just you go where they seat you so I got the lower level it is considerably better uh, on the top level but it was actually more fun than I thought it would be on the lower level but uh, so there's that plus that cute that you're seeing right there? that's 90 minutes <laughs> I waited an hour I got in there 
a little bit shorter than that, uh, but that's 90 minutes. It's a slow, they only have the one coach, one coach, and they can fit, uh, I'm going to say, tops. Maybe 12 people, 12, 13, maybe 14 if they're little. So you got to, you got to, and then, and then the whole thing takes what, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe to go around, the, you know, go around the loop. So it doesn't, it's perhaps the slowest loading attraction in history, but it's kind of worth it. I feel really happy about the hour that I invested myself waiting in that queue. Ah. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if you noticed when we were driving around on the stagecoach that there is some construction going on. There is some news. I had completely forgotten that uh, the Fiesta Village is under is undergoing a major renovation. Uh, I haven't. Oh, here we go. Here's the concept art as we speak. So this is the area that I think we're walking into right about now, right there. Oh no, this is it right here. This where that fountain is is right about there behind those walls uh if i'm not mistaken and over here to the left just out of frame is where you get your margaritas so it doesn't look like they're re-theming it too much it's just a facelift i don't know if this is going to be any more authentic or any more generic than it was before i mean i can't really tell i don't have a i don't have a discerning eye for how it was before because i haven't been here that much to observe it to know but i mean it looked still looked pretty you know, <laughs> fiesta. But yeah, there are construction. Can you even hear me? There are construction walls up all over the place, and a lot of attractions are closed. I'm guessing. Uh, God, what's, what's that one called up there? I can't remember. Uh, the carousel is closed. No, the carousel is open. Can you go on that ridiculous spinning oh, no. ride that uh, my son got Boring. stuck on? few years ago that looks open as well although things are getting a little bottlenecky here because of the walls we're gonna have a conversation about the crowds here in a minute but this is not as bad as it looks right here this is uh you know uh, what do you call it uh it's not uh, not an accurate representation of the crowds in the park city i don't see a wait time posted anywhere Although I also don't see much of a queue. Oh, there it is. 45 minutes. What's, what does 45 minutes look like for Soul Spin? There's maybe a, a hundred people in that queue. And the reason why it uh, is such a long wait, 45 minutes for such a small queue, is that it is an incredibly slow loader. A lot of these uh, off the rack, I forget what they call them, box rides, you know, carnival box rides, don't have the highest turnover. Jaguar, that's what it's called. It looks like it's running. There's an empty, although there are guests in there. So Jaguar is also running. I think it's the stuff on the other side, the other carnival rides back there that we saw that were closed. We're at a dead end here. <laughs> I didn't notice that, but I love how they've got just a little post-it note with somebody wrote 60 on it. So that's the wait right now for Jaguar. 60 minutes. So this is the part that we drove by on the train. Oh look, the uh, Silly Symphony swings are just a five minute wait. Train went by right there and we saw the we saw the backside on the other side of those walls. All these attractions have been stripped. They're probably uh, replacing the parts uh, they're not replacing the rides. It looks like the rides are going to be the same based on that concept art, but they're giving them a new, you know, a new aesthetic, a new color uh, palette, as it were. It's like there's some uh, knot holes that you can look through here. We got a pretty good look when we went by the train, but let's just take a peek real quick. See if we can see any constructionizing, which we can. There they are. That spinner right there is a nasty ride. I, don't, I can't do any of these rides. Both, <laughs> both Fiesta Village and Camp Snoopy, which we're heading to next, which we drove by also on the train or on the stagecoach. I keep saying train, but stagecoach. No, what's the train? I can't remember now. Anyway, both of those lands are just filled with rides that make me sick. <laughs> I'm okay on Jaguar. I can handle Jaguar, but I can't. There's so many rides that I can't do here. But you know, what? it's okay for me because I'm here for things like Ghost Town and, and the food and the merch and. Things like that. I guys, you know, I am really, really excited. I can't wait. I keep saying this, 
But as I said in the Universal video yesterday, uh, I've been waiting for the opportunity, for the timing to be right, to head over to Universal and to head over to Knott's. Disney has graciously appointed me, have gifted me that opportunity by telling me that I can't. Oh my God, look at that. They tell me I can't come in. Look at this, every dad's dream right here. Riding shotgun with their kids. I cannot wait until I take, because Sophie can do these. I have to get her a pass though, I guess. I can't wait till I do one of these with Sophie. But that's about it. There's that and there's the train. The little train that we can do, but I can't do that thing. Well, I guess, no, it's just a Ferris wheel. Uh, there's another swing ride over here. Camp Snoopy's great, by the way, just theming wise. It's fun to be here. When we do uh, Halloween uh, and Christmas, th those events, these are always, this is always the best themed, best decorated area of the park. Yeah, I can't do Linus's little, or I'm sorry, uh, pig pens. Mud buggies, no, can't do those. I can't do anything that spins. This thing rocks back and forth. I think it's just awful. Uh, <laughs> I think I took Tristan on this when he was really little. I did this and then I did that Sierra Sidewinder back to back, which we can't see from here. But I did I did this attraction with him. Wait, it was either this one or the school bus. Now I can't remember. Well, I'll know when they start rocking this thing, but uh, I think this one goes up and then it and then it spins, if I'm not mistaken. But uh I did this and then we did Sarah Seinweiner and I was cooked. I, I, I puked and I was done for the day. And my son, my poor son, who was little at the time, like their age. <laughs> I, I can't remember what we did for the rest of the day. Okay, so we do a little rocking back and forth, get a little speed going, to get some momentum, build up that momentum, and then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a no for me. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> 45 minutes for the Timberline Twister. We saw this while we are on the stagecoach also. It's 45 because there's just the one vehicle. So that takes a little bit of time to get that one uh, loaded and unloaded. Plus it's only, what, two, four, maybe six, 12 people? No, 18, 18 guests per vehicle. Six in each car, max. But more likely two in each car, wow. Yeah, I don't think I could do this one either. <laughs> no, thank you. See, it's just, these are kids rides. I can't even do, the, oh, they're stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going to happen? Oh, switch a Rooney. <laughs> oh, no. No, thank you. A land built for kids and I could barely ride anything. Uh, the only thing I could do is that little truck. That <laughs> The, the, what do you call it, the, the semi-truck ride and the train thing that's over there, which I've never been on and I've, I keep waiting for an opportunity to do it because I feel weird and awkward and creeper if I go on it alone because it's a kid's ride, but I'm so, I gotta get my daughter here. I gotta get Sophie here. This must be the Ted ride. Oh, it's a little train. Oh, oh, they can, they can drive it themselves. The little handlebars in there, you do it just back and forth like that. And then of course, as we exit Snoopy's town, Snoopy Town, Camp Snoopy, whatever, Snoopy Land, uh, Grizzly Creek Lodge is an amazingly themed restaurant. It's huge. The food is okay. The cheeseburger is pretty good. The chicken is all right. The only part about Grizzly Creek Lodge is that it's full of people all the time. Here's another thing we got to explore with Sophie is these caves. I used to take Tristan in these caves all the time. They're fun. Matter of fact, I think I did take Sophie in here. We came here once with her when she was little uh, during a Christmas event, I think, and we, I did take her in there. That's right, I did. Anyway, uh, this place is all right. This place is awesome. I like to go up there, but you, it's hard to find a table in there. It's hard to find a table, and the food is okay. There's the train. This is the train I was talking about. This is the train that we heard doing shaving a haircut with the, uh, the proper train. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's rain starting to fall. I might have to cut this show short today. Oh, 
Cordelia K of the Grand Sierra. Awesome. Now I've, I've picked a pretty obvious spot for the final installment of my show. We're gonna talk about the crowds a little bit before we go. As I mentioned, the rain is starting to fall, so I gotta skedaddle. But uh, you can clearly tell that it is not crowded. Uh, I don't know if this compares at all or how it compares to the crowds from yesterday, but this is not crowded at all. Obviously, it doesn't even compare to anything we've seen at uh, Universal or Disney for that matter. Um, but it is busy. It's The lines are all long. You know, I haven't seen any sort of walk-on type situation or anything close to that. You know, matter of fact, let's, uh, while we walk and talk, we'll take it into not very far in B. We haven't been back to the boardwalk section, which is my least favorite section of the park. I could... I could spend a whole day here and not go back there, but we're gonna do that to see how it looks back there because that's where all the roller coasters are. But uh, I have not, Calico Mine Train, when I looked at that, when I looked at that like an hour and a half ago, it was 45, that's about what it is now based on where I see the queue there. That's about a 45 minute wait. Um, I saw 90 minutes for Ghost Rider. And then, you know, like I said, 90 minutes for the Stagecoach. I don't know what they're at, you know, what it's like over here at uh, Berry Tales or anything else, but we'll keep walking. The reason why it's not crowded, but it's still busy, why we're still waiting is uh, two, twofold. A, there's there's not a lot of street atmosphere. There's not a lot of extra things for people to do. Like at Disneyland, when you walk around, there's always something happening in the park besides the rides. Here, they, it's similar to uh, Universal. All you have here are the rides. You don't have anything else to distract you. I mean, except for shopping and eating, of which here, there is plentiful. But when you had a situation where there's no street atmosphere, Everybody's just in a queue somewhere. And then two, I have there is not a single <laughs> not a single ride that I've encountered that would be what I what we consider a ghost quick though. There are attractions out there at Disneyland where you know pirates. Pirates is a ghost quick though. It, the line looks enormous, but it just it's constantly moving, right? Every attraction that I encountered today has been just an incredibly slow loading attraction. Rides that shouldn't be, but they are. And I'm not sure what the reason for that is other than they just maybe haven't mastered it or that's just the kind of rides they are. But they're all just incredibly slow loading attractions. So yeah, it's it's not crowded, but it's busy. Any of the rides that are considered popular are difficult to attend right now. You've got to really commit. Uh, it's the kind of day that you know you want to get. Uh, well, I guess most days are like that at Knott's Berry Farm, where you want to get their uh, their their fast pass, whatever they call it. Although they sell out quickly, uh, Knott's Berry Farm is a lot like uh, in Universal Studios. They cost more, significantly more than a Disneyland uh, Genie Plus, but it's but they also sell quite a bit fewer. So it's actually, I, I kind of feel like that's the way it should be. That if you're gonna give somebody, if you're gonna treat somebody better, as that's what you're doing with, with, with the uh, Fast Pass, if you're gonna treat somebody better, it should be, it should cost significantly more. It shouldn't be such a minor difference than the regular price in order to skip, you know, an hour's worth of queue. I don't know if it makes any difference in the end because the standby lines are still super long. So maybe it doesn't really matter, uh, but there you go. That's another one right there that I got to do next time. I love that ride. I love being able to see things from up on high like that. But yeah, it's, you know, there's nobody here. Well, I should say, there's nobody. It's wide open. Nothing, nothing like what we saw yesterday at Universal. Perhaps the rain has something to do with it. I don't know. You know, because it, 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 you can see on the ground, it's starting to get a little wet and slippery out here. Actually, on that note, we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it Fresh Bake. We are done. We're gonna come back soon though, because there's some things at Knott's that I definitely wanna get. I wanna get right back on the horse <laughs> here at Knott's Berry Farm, get some more stuff done. I wanna try some of this food. Uh, hopefully, we can do some of that on camera. In the meantime, follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Bake, on Twitter at Fresh Bake Disney, that's Fresh with no E, and on TikTok at Fresh Bake Disney. If you like our show, wanna show you support, Please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash freshbake. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, everybody. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Freshbake.